Hi Jennifer. So uh, to create a specific set of questions, uh, let me put the cursor attention here. Okay. To set up and to create like some specific question for your adults or uh, kids events for uh, SK4U, uh, you can play around in the event espresso registration form. When you hear that the list of questions uh, you, you want to ask to your uh, registrant, and then uh, those are the question groups. Question groups are so um, split into required information, address information, and child info. If I go into required information, you see that here they are. Those are the mandatory questions required for SK4U. So child's name, allergies, blah, blah 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 blah. So if you want to get rid of some, like let's say it's for an adult uh, event, you can get rid of child's name, for example. Um, and I think that's it. This way, child's name won't show up uh, specifically for each event. But you will need to add the child names question to the child's group. So uh, let me be clear here. Uh, click on save and close. And here on child info, I'll click on edit. And uh, we'll probably need to add, uh, oh, child's name is already set up here, so that's perfect. Um, now let's say you want to ask specific question for adults. Right, so we go on under. You need to first create the questions. So let's say um, I'm gonna click here and add new question. All right, I'm gonna click on uh, specific question one. Uh, question type you can ask whatever you like here. So it's just text or text area if you want. Like if you want your registrant to fill in like um, different paragraph or uh, various paragraph um, required text that's if the question is required uh, for example uh, here you can say uh, this field is mandatory for example mm, seven close and let's let's set up a second specific question a new question Um, specific question two for adults. Oops, sorry, it's my keywords. All right, uh, optional. All right, seven close. And now we're gonna we're going to um, save those two uh, question we've just created into a new question groups. So we're going to create a new question group here, and we're gonna uh, call that um, registrant uh, adult regist registrant info, and we're going to select this this question and this question. Okay. Now we're going to click seven close. And after that, we'll need to assign this set of questions to the specific events dedicated for adults. So if I go into events, I'm going to open a new tab here. Let's say, for example, uh, on the test event here, let's say it's an adult um, only event. So on this test here, I will have my like my common questions, which will be required information. This one you cannot uh, unassign it. Uh, people will have to fill in all the question um, within required information. But because it's a typical adult event, you need to click there. Adult registrant info. If it's child event, you click on child info. Okay, and I uh, just click on the date. And then you will basically see on this event that uh, those questions are now mandatory. You can also click here on the additional registrants 
uh, you'll probably want to, it all depends like what kind of question you want to ask, but if it's um, person dependent, you need to click here, adult registrant info, just in case someone registering, let's say, um, three or four adults, uh, you want like specific information for each adult, then you need to, to check this, uh, tick this uh, box here. Alright, so you can play around basically with the question question group. You can create whatever you want for SK for you, and then you just just need to assign uh, depending if it's a child or an adult event uh, the question group here. I hope I was clear, and if I wasn't, feel free to get back to me. Thank you.